What if the reason you're anxious, can't sleep, and feel constantly stressed isn't in your head, but in your feet? Here's a paradox that should disturb you. For 200,000 years, humans walked barefoot on the earth. Then, about 150 years ago, we invented rubber-soled shoes. Now, we're experiencing epidemic levels of anxiety, chronic inflammation, and nervous system dysfunction that our ancestors never knew. Coincidence? Neuroscience suggests a direct connection. By the end of this video, I'll show you evidence that may make you want to take your shoes off the moment you step outside. Section 1. The Cortisol Crash A study published in the Journal of Alternative and Complementary Medicine measured cortisol levels in participants before and after barefoot contact with the earth. After just 40 minutes, participants showed an average 62% reduction in cortisol. Let me put that in perspective. That's a cortisol drop comparable to powerful clinical relaxation interventions, but achieved purely through physical contact with the ground. Why does this matter? Cortisol is your body's stress alarm system. In short bursts, it's helpful. But chronically elevated cortisol literally rewires your amygdala, the fear center of your brain. It makes you hypersensitive to threats that don't exist. That email from your boss? Your nervous system interprets it like a predator attack. But here's what shocked researchers most. The sleep connection. Cortisol is supposed to be at its lowest at night. But in modern humans, it stays elevated. Which is why so many people struggle to get deep, restorative sleep. One study tracked participants for eight weeks. 93% reported significantly better sleep quality just from 30 minutes barefoot on the ground daily. So the obvious question is, how does taking off your shoes do this to your nervous system? Section 2. The Electrical Body Here's what most people don't know. Your body runs on electricity. Every thought, every emotion, every movement, it's all electrical signals firing through your nervous system. Now here's where it gets interesting. The Earth itself carries a negative electrical charge, constantly generating free electrons on its surface. For the entire history of human evolution, we were in direct contact with this electrical ground. Always. But modern life has disconnected us. Rubber shoes act as insulators. We live in buildings, drive in cars, walk on asphalt. We've become electrically isolated from the planet. The result? We're walking around as electrically charged beings with nowhere to discharge that excess voltage. When you make barefoot contact with the Earth, electrons transfer into your body within seconds. These electrons neutralize free radicals and reduce inflammation at the cellular level. But here's what matters for your nervous system. When you're electrically ungrounded, your brain operates in a high alert state. Your baseline anxiety isn't just psychological. It's electrical. Barefoot walking triggers immediate activation of your parasympathetic nervous system, your body's rest and digest mode. It increases vagal tone, the strength of your vagus nerve, which is your body's primary calm-down signal. Research has shown that vagal nerve stimulation directly impacts your prefrontal cortex, leading to better emotional control, clearer thinking, and reduced reactivity. You stop being hijacked by your amygdala. Section 3. The Inflammation Brain Axis Most people think of inflammation as something that happens in your joints or muscles. But chronic inflammation doesn't just affect your body. It promotes changes in your brain. Research in immunopsychiatry has established a clear link between inflammatory markers in the blood and persistent low mood, mental fatigue, and cognitive fog. Inflammation in your body creates inflammation in your brain, neuroinflammation, one of the primary drivers of persistent mood instability and mental exhaustion. Here's how earthing interrupts this. 
free radicals that cause inflammation are positively charged. When you make contact with the Earth, you absorb negatively charged electrons. Basic chemistry. Opposite charges neutralize each other. Blood tests show measurable reductions in inflammatory markers within hours of earthing. Not days. Not weeks. Hours. But the neuroplasticity component is what's truly remarkable. Reduced inflammation leads to increased production of BDNF. Brain-derived neurotrophic factor. Think of BDNF as fertilizer for your neurons. It promotes the growth of new neural connections and strengthens existing ones. When your inflammation drops and BDNF increases, your brain starts forming new neural pathways away from chronic stress patterns. The grooves of anxiety, rumination, and reactivity begin to fade. Studies suggest measurable improvements, reduced discomfort, more stable mood, Sharper Mental Clarity, Section 4, The Schumann Resonance. Now let's go deeper into something that sounds mystical, but is actually just physics. The Earth emits a constant electromagnetic pulse at approximately 7.83 Hz. The Schumann Resonance. It's generated by lightning strikes in the ionosphere and has been constant for millions of years. Here's the intriguing part. Your brain's alpha waves. The frequency associated with relaxed focus and creativity. Operate at 8 to 12 hertz. The overlap is striking. Now, whether your nervous system actively synchronizes with this frequency is still being researched. But here's what we know for certain. The human nervous system evolved over millions of years immersed in this electromagnetic field. We were always barefoot. Always sleeping on the ground. Always in direct contact. Section 5. The Intelligent Skepticism. Now, if you're smart, you're probably skeptical. This sounds too simple to be true. We have a cognitive bias that assumes complex problems require complex solutions. But think about it. Penicillin was mold. Aspirin came from tree bark. Vitamin C deficiency caused scurvy for centuries until someone figured out that eating citrus fruits cured it. Simple doesn't mean ineffective. The evidence standard here is rigorous. There are over 20 peer-reviewed studies on earthing published in the last decade in major medical journals. Researchers have documented measurable changes in blood viscosity, heart rate variability, cortisol levels, and brainwave patterns. You don't have to believe in energy or mysticism. This is electron transfer. It's electrical grounding. Your body is just a more complex circuit. Here's what you actually need to do. Start with 20 minutes daily. Grass, sand, soil, even concrete that's been in contact with earth. Morning is optimal because it helps synchronize your cortisol rhythm with natural circadian patterns. You don't need to buy grounding mats or special products. Just take off your shoes. If you're an overthinker, your nervous system is probably overactive. Modern life keeps you in constant fight or flight. You're working under artificial light, surrounded by devices, insulated from the earth. Your ancestors walked barefoot and slept under stars. Their nervous systems were calm not because life was easier. Life was objectively harder. But because they were electrically connected to the planet, you have the same nervous system they did. Same hardware. Different software. Maybe it's time to restore the factory settings. Sometimes the smartest solution is the most ancient one. Take off your shoes. Touch the earth.